check. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze, but the grills in my mouth double as a freeze, but the grills. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel and to another, hopefully, the final wrapping vlog of the Evo 9. This color is so sick. I'm so happy that we did Nardo Gray. But it is Valentine's Day, so I gotta go swing by the coffee stand. I got Bobby some Sour Patch Kids. First of all, I got her a cookie from the cookie jar. I got her Sour Patch Kids, and I got her some roses. So yeah, let's go say what's up to Bobby. Wish her a happy Valentine's Day. Head to Alco Tin Shop and finish up the Evo 9. Day, I got you a Valentine's Day present. What is it? What do you think? Is this my Valentine's Day present? Yes. Wow, you're a romance. I got you something else. I know you like Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> what? Wow, thanks babe. You're welcome. Save two for me. Nah! <laughs> you're not supposed to keep. You're welcome, baby. You're the best. What did I do to deserve oh, all these? That's so cute. <laughs> You're just a cute girl, and I want you to be Thanks, my Valentine. Honey. We actually made it to the shop before Alex for once. You better hurry up. We have a ton of work to get done on the Evo 9. Or not a ton. We have the front bumper, skirts, and the wing end plate things. So, I don't know. Two or three hours, we should hopefully have this car done. We need 100% to get it done today. Bobby wrote you a cute note on your coffee, bro. Read it. It's for, just for you. <laughs> Dude, we're so close to being done. Okay, so what we have left is a few things to install, like the side markers. We have to wrap the wing, the end pieces right there, front bumper, and side skirts. Ready to bang this shit out? Yeah, let's do it. Hey Alex, do you have any masking tape? I have to trim coat these pieces, but I don't want to get the trim coat on the wrap. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is trim coat these pieces here. Dude, can I trim coat these? I forgot to trim coat these before we installed them, so I'm gonna mask off the wrap, get these coated the other side as well. I think those are the only things we've gotta coat. So I just finished that inlay on the bumper. Now we're working on the wing and this wing actually comes apart pretty easily. So this pan right here is like double side taped on and Velcroed on. So we're gonna pop that panel off and then there should be two bolts and the whole end cap will come right off and be much easier to drop.
So I only have one little piece left for the wing. Alex is gonna start on the side skirts. So we got both side skirts on. The wing is complete. As you can see, we ended up doing the carbon fiber wrap in there, so it kind of matches Evo 8 like inserts. Thanks, so though. that looks sick. This skirt is on. The last thing we have is the bumper. Oh. Alex, have fun with the bumper. <laughs> what, you like chunky people? <laughs> so this is the bumper, how it looks right now. You want to you wanna show them what we're going to do for inlays? Or what's your plan for inlays? Oh, well, we're going to have an inlay right here. You know, down here, up to there. And when, when we wrap the whole main piece, we're just going to let this fall into there and cover up the seam. And then we're going to have an inlay over this thing too. Because yeah. you don't want to overstretch the vinyl because then it's going to lift and like... Really, you know, first sunlight it'll lift. So you have to like really... Touch know, yeah. yeah it's better to do it in a few pieces, the way it at least lasts. And if yeah. you do it right, you won't never see the pieces. You know, yeah. overlaps. It's the very, very last thing we have to wrap today. And then the car will be complete. We just have to put the bumper on, or put the bumper back together with all the mesh. Put the headlights on, um, headlights, bumper, and we'll be 100% done. I want to get this thing out in the sun and see how good it looks. Because Alex said it looked good in the sun. It did. So we tried the first inlay done. That section right there was pretty easy. And then Mr. Elko, I don't know what he's doing over here. Some more things. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be easier than we expected. These are gonna be hard though, I feel like.
so we have all of our inlays done. This whole bottom section is pretty much inlaid. So how many pieces is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And the main reason we had to do so many inlays on this bumper is because all the paint is all pretty much sanded down and this vinyl wasn't really sticking all that well. So we should have primered, primer 94 did the whole thing, but we didn't. So yeah, we have one last piece, one main section over the whole bumper and we should be done. So we just got the bumper all finished up. They're gonna install the mesh and I'm gonna go install the headlights. Then we can get the bumper on the car and we'll be 100% complete with this wrap job. Icing on the cake, extremely crusty headlights. I know these things need to be cleaned up. So one of these days, hopefully here soon, we'll polish the lenses, probably take them all apart and black out the housings, probably throw some lit lights, demonize in there as well, make them look pretty good. But yeah, as soon as he's done with the bumper, we'll throw it on the car and this thing will be 100% complete. It turned out so damn good. We just put the bumper on and I know the headlights are crusty as hell, but look how good it turned out. Come look, Alex. Let me open this door so we can take a step back and take a good, a good old peek. Dude, those headlights gotta go. But what do you think? Dude, it looks nice. Yeah, it looks really yeah. good. Yeah, this nice and clean. That's yeah. really sweet. Yeah, really good. Thank you so much, man. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Hit this man's up for tent, wrap, what else? Lift kits now? <laughs> well, leveling kits. Like, I yeah. guess we're doing everything. I don't know. Yeah, seriously. He's an amazing rapper. Obviously, amazing tenter. So they specialize in. They do really good work, obviously. Like, yeah, look at this car. Project, right? It was a really, really fun project, man. Yeah. Thank you. Of course, I'll have Alex's info linked down below in the description box. So I'll pick this video back up in the morning. When it's nice and bright out, we can see how good this car turned out. Thanks again, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, my fam, it is bright and early the next day. We got the car out in the sun, or the clouds, I guess. This thing looks so good. I'm very stoked with how this thing turned out. Now, of course, the car still needs a ton of work. New wheels. I asked you guys on Instagram yesterday what we should do next. You guys were saying like new wheels, obviously headlights. I wanna black out the headlights. Obviously polish the lenses, black out the headlights. We have wheels at home. We're gonna powder coat and get back on here with new tires. But I feel like all the hard work of this car is complete. It's running and driving good. The body is all complete and looks 100% amazing. This is probably the one of the best wrap jobs I've ever seen. We really, really took our time and it helps out the guys over at Elko really know what they're doing. So this is definitely like the best wrap job that I've done or that we've done. And it really shows, it turned out so freaking amazing. I never said that a million times, but I'm so pumped on how it turned out. Especially some of the little details like the carbon inside those door handles, that looks sick. The carbon inside the wing, that looks really, really nice. The black roof, the black inside. The license plate, ah, oh, it looks so good. So I'm thinking the next thing we're gonna do is either the wheels or the headlights. I'm just not exactly sure which. So go down in the comment section below, let me know what you wanna see done first. Should we powder coat the new wheels and get them installed? They are gonna go white. I really, really like white on Narda Gray and I've never had that color combo before. So we're gonna do white wheels or should we do the black housing headlights and polish the lenses first? along with the demon eyes. Let me know down in the comment section below. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll have Alco's YouTube linked down in the description box below. I'm pretty sure his truck is being finished today. So you guys should see a video on his new truck. Brand new Denali with like a nine inch lift coming pretty soon on his channel. Go check it out. And then all the trim coat that we use on this car for all the trim pieces, I'll have that link down below as well. We literally did all the trim, all these pieces here, this here, that stuff there, these pillars the mirror caps, some stuff in there, and I coated that front lip. It looks like we literally put a brand new lip on the car, but no, I just trim coated it, so that looks super nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this wrap series. I tried to make it as entertaining as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.